Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I am knitting. Not right now, but most of the time. Recently, I uploaded a video going over this hat that I finished making. It looks absolutely ridiculous when it's not um, on my body, uh, like, like, like a shriveled mushroom or something. But anyway, I uploaded a video uh, going over my process of knitting this hat and my opinion on the pattern, the modifications I did, the, the yarn I used, etc, etc. If you're interested in watching that, the uh, little link I'll put up here. Um, but during the filming of that, I was wearing my sheep camp sweater. At the end of the video, I said, I really need to uh, glean the pills off of this sweater. I need, to, I really need to uh, shave the pills off. But when I was editing the, that video, I realized, oh my gosh, there are so many more pills than I even realized. So not only do I really need to glean the pills off this sweater, I need to do it even more than I initially thought. So today's video is going to show you how to use this handy little gadget called the gleaner. This is a fabric shaving apparatus, device, tool, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's really uh, four tools in one kind of, and I'll explain why. Um, but first, I want to tell you a little bit about Gleaner as a company. I don't know a whole lot about them, but what I do know is good. So this is a woman-owned company. They're based out of Canada. And um, this device was made to solve a problem of uh, inadequate fabric shavers on the market. So basically, this is a totally handheld device. It's manually operated. There are no batteries. There's no electricity. You can control the pressure um, that you're applying uh, to your, your fabrics. Uh, Darby just gasped or yawned or sighed in the background because obviously her life is astronomically difficult. apparently. Um, so anyway, that's what that noise was. It was Darby, uh, just like, I don't know, getting the vapors or something. Okay. So, uh, handheld manually operated, get it together. No batteries required. And I love this product. Uh, I am very grateful also to Gleaner for their generosity. Um, if you're not familiar, they sent, uh, a number of gleaner tools to my hotel in Ireland this last October so I could disperse them to all of my tour participants and also to um, people at Hedgehog Fiber Studios in Cork, Ireland. So very grateful for their donation of these devices. That meant that every single person on, uh, or I should say every single knitting participant on the Irish Knitting Tour got one of these in their goodie bag. So thank you so much, Gleaner, for your generosity and your partnership. And I hope that this video gets you some business. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I am, I'm not being paid to say any of this stuff. This is my own personal Gleaner, etc., etc. So if that information is important to you, uh, there you go. So let's talk about the Gleaner. If you purchase a Gleaner, whether from their website or Amazon, you will get it in this handy little bag. And there's also like a little booklet um, that comes with it that explains to you how to use it and what the different um, shaver heads can be used for. Um, I don't know where mine is because uh, it's not in the bag anymore, but I keep my gleaner in the bag. I have multiple gleaners actually. I have this one that I keep in my uh, craft room. I have another one that I keep in my cedar chest with my hand knits just in case something gets misplaced. I figured it makes sense to keep one of these with the thing that I'm actually going to use it on, meaning my hand knits. Um, and I also have a travel version, which I keep in my office at work. Um, that is shaped a little bit differently, and I actually prefer the travel one to the full-sized one, uh, simply because um, with your gleaner, you get this handheld piece, and at the top is where the shaver heads are attached. And you detach them by pushing up on this button here. And that is what releases the shaver heads. So you can put it on here, lock it in, 
hit this button and that's what releases them. If you're not hitting the button, they're locked in, okay? So the travel size um, doesn't have that feature. Uh, maybe one day I'll make a video on that so you can see how it locks in the shaver heads. But when I'm gleaning, I hold it like this. And sometimes without realizing it, I push the release button and then the shaver head comes off in the middle of my use, which is kind of annoying to me. So I do prefer the travel size. So if you're thinking about buying one of these, um, maybe consider getting the travel size because it's less expensive and it eliminates this annoying problem that I have. Maybe you won't have it. I don't know, uh, but I do. So um, I don't know why I keep hitting my glasses. They're just in my way today, I guess. So let's talk about the the uses of this this tool. On the bottom here, this black pad, this is a lint shaver. So this replaces your lint rollers or your lint brushes. And I like that it stays attached. This also is on the travel size, uh, the, tra the travel version. So you don't have to sacrifice having a lint brush if you get the travel version. So really there's no reason not to get the travel version in my opinion unless you like the look of this and like being able to hold a handle um and then it comes with these three shaver heads or edges so if i can get it to focus on here you can see that these have three different um i don't know mm, three different materials three different whatever. Um, let me describe them to you. This is edge one. And according to their website, edge one is what you would use for bulky fabrics like heavy woolens, rugs, chunky knit scarves, and heavy duty upholstery. This is like um, gridded metal, like a grid uh, that is kind of like feels like sandpaper consistency in grid form, okay? The second shaver head, or edge two, this is like a sandpaper feeling material. It's best for medium fabrics like cashmere, merino, and finer wools, and it also works great on fleece. And then the third shaver head, or the third edge, edge three, this is like a finer grit sandpaper. It's not as rough. It's a bit smoother. And according to the Gleaner website, this is the edge that can revitalize your summer knits, t-shirts, silk blends, linens, and ultra delicates. So this is maybe what you would use on like a mohair or something. So those are the three um, edges that you would include now, or that are included when you buy it. Now, when I first used a gleaner, I thought that this edge was the be-all, end-all edge for me to use. And only recently did I realize that, no duh, the edge that they say is best for merino is the edge that I actually prefer to use. So I'm just going to show you how quick and simple it is to revitalize your knits if you have pills on them. Now, I will say... Um, like I have said many times, for whatever reason already in this video, this is manually operated. There are no batteries, there are no blades. So you don't have to have that apprehension that you might have with a different fabric shaver. I've tried other fabric shavers from Amazon that are battery operated and that use blades and they're like, the blades are on the other side of like, um, uh, uh, what's the word? like a metal plate with holes in it. Uh, and I always am afraid, or I always was afraid that it would ruin my knits because who's to say that this wouldn't like go rogue and just chop everything up. So there's like this level of anxiety with those types of fabric shavers, at least for me, that is not present when I use the gleaner. So I really appreciate that. So I'm going to shift the view so it's overhead and you can see what I'm doing. But first, I just wanna show you what this looks like before so we can have a comparison. I can't believe I'm wearing two sweaters, but that's just how it is today. Um, this is the before. This is obviously not a pill. It's just a string. 
So you can see there's considerable pilling on the body, but even more so, which I didn't notice before I was editing that other video I mentioned, there's a lot of pilling on the arms. This sweater is the Sheep Camp sweater by Jennifer Berg, and it's knit in Treehouse Knits non superwash DK. I love this base. It is so soft. I really recommend this base. I know my head's out of frame. Sorry. I really recommend this base to everyone. Anyone who wants to try it, you absolutely should. Just know that it does pill a bit, so you may want to have a gleaner on hand. So, without further ado, let's switch the perspective and I'll show you how I glean the pills off my sweater. All right, so I'm just going to start with the body of the sweater here, and uh, the pills are definitely apparent. They are there, and I'm going to use edge number two. So just hold your knit in place and kind of brush. I think it's good to brush in one direction um, I don't really know if that is a requirement, but it just is what works for me. So already you can see this fuzz is coming off. That's the pills that I'm shaving off of the sweater itself. Okay. So look at that. Now you can tell the difference between this section right here and this section. So this section has been shaved. This section has not been shaved. Do you see what I mean? How I just naturally have my finger there sometimes. So sometimes that happens um, if I'm not mindful of keeping uh, my index finger from pushing that release button. So just something to keep in mind. Um, it happens to me a lot and it annoys me, but it's a small price to pay for how effective and how easy it is to get these pills off my sweater. Another thing I'll say is that as I'm gleaning this, um, after a little bit, it feels like maybe it's not working as well. And that's when you need to kind of clear out the fuzz that is building up on the shaver head. And that just helps it work good as new once again. See, look how bad this is. This is where my arm has brushed up against the side of my body when I'm wearing this. So that friction makes for more pilling. But it is no match for my gleaner. I'm actually going to try this shaver head and see how it compares. Okay, so that seems to get the pills up, like the very, the very prominent pills up a bit easier. So I think I'll do a few passes of this shaver head on the really, really bad spots. And then after that, go in with edge two. That's looking so much nicer. Wow. What a difference. 
So as I'm editing this video, my anxiety is kind of rearing its ugly head and telling me, Rachel, why are you making this video and why are you posting it? It seems like such a simple tool and people do not really need a tutorial. Well, uh, I'm telling my anxiety to just be quiet because I've learned time and time again over the course of the past year that some things that are obvious to some people are a huge hurdle to other people. And this happens to me every single day. There's something that I think is mind blowing and that is so cool to learn and that I never would have known how to do or thought of on my own. And then I see someone just like breeze by doing this thing that to me is incredible. And I don't know, just like rocks my world. So, uh, I hope that you think this is a cool video and I hope that you think this is helpful because even though really it's just like a stick of plastic with some sandpaper like uh, edges on the top that you just move back and forth on your sweater with your hand, um, it's an incredible tool and I think that it should be in every home uh, that wants one because this really, really will save your sweaters will save you time, it will save you money, it will save you heartache, it will save you all the things. So that's why I'm showing you about it. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, back and better than ever. I have just finished, well, I shouldn't say finished. I have just reached the end of a gleaning session and this is all of the fiber from the pills that I have shaved off. Now, I'm going to show you the sweater in a second here and I just want to tell you beforehand that it's not perfect. Um, there are still some pills on it. There's still some fuzz. That's okay. We're not going for perfection here. Life is too short. But I did have a, a considerably rigorous gleaning session uh, with the sweater. And I mean, look at this. So many pills. You'll notice that some of the fiber is lighter and some is darker. That's because not only did I shave the pills off the solid uh purple colored section but also the color work section so let me put this on for you and you can fully appreciate the after of this gleaning session so like see again even just putting it on i see some pills that i don't really want to have so i'm just gonna shave them real fast this works even when it, you're wearing it in a pinch. You don't need to find a place to lay it flat necessarily. Um, but here's the after. It is so much better. You can tell, see like, look, of course the light is gonna catch um, these pills here. So let me just do a quick, quick little shave and just get those off of the sweater but look so much better such an improvement particularly on the sleeves um again not perfect but so so much better um and that was not that much work super easy to do the gleaner is a very handy tool to have and i definitely recommend you consider purchasing one if you don't want to have pills on your sweater. This is why it's not being in focus. It's because of you. It wants to focus on Darby. When I am the star of the show and the sweater is the star of the show, this could be a good thumbnail. Um, yes, it's not actually going to be the thumbnail. But see, even just that quick pass got um, some of the pills off of the underarm. So very, very happy with my gleaner. <sighs> See, like when I was doing the finished object diary for this hat, I would put it on and lift my arms up and uh, the underarms of the sweater before being gleaned were just atrocious. I really should have gleaned this um, like probably a month ago and I just did it and I kept wearing it and I let the pills keep pilling. Shouldn't have done that. So what I've learned from this experience using the gleaner on this, you know, particular, particular gleaning session is that all of the shaver heads work 
great. They just have different purposes. So for instance, I used edge one for the sections with really heavy pills. And then I used edge two for the sections that had lighter pills or were a little fuzzy. And then I actually also used this third edge, edge three, for sections that um, were still, like still had a bit of fuzz, but that weren't really being picked up by the previous two heads. So it's kind of like a sliding scale. Like if there's a section of the sweater that's really, really, really pilly, I'll use edge one first. And then after I get most of the most like worse pills off, then I will go over that same section again with edge two and then uh, so on and so forth until I get to edge three. So this is a super, super handy and I'm almost liking gleaning it more when it's on my body than when it was laying flat. It's super easy either way but uh, it's nice to like be able to hold the sleeve taut and glean it that way. So really happy with that. This was something that needed to be done. And why not kill two birds with one stone and show you how to use this thing? See, still not perfect. I feel like if I look at this sweater, I'll just be able to find places to shave all day long. And actually, I'm realizing these are not pills. These are the decreases. Get it together, Rachel. So I'm just going to call it good for now. Um, when I wear this to work this semester, like I said, I have a travel gleaner in my office. So I am never caught, uh, you know, in, in a bind without a gleaner should I have some unforgiving pills that really need to be renew removed from any given knit. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think that it would also be really helpful to have a travel, drop my iPad. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. I think it would also be really helpful to have a gleaner in my car, uh, you know, for that. Oh, I should also show you how the lint roller works or not lint roller, the lint brush. So this part that I mentioned, here's some ASMR for you. This part that I mentioned is a lint brush and um, this, you know, obviously it's not pulling up any of the fuzz, but if you had lint or pet hair, uh, this would be what you would use. You can also use your gleaner on rugs and upholstery. So if you have um, pets that shed a lot, this would be a great tool to have to use on your couch, particularly if it's like a microfiber couch. Um, to just like rake up the pet hair. But yeah, that is how you use a gleaner. I definitely recommend this product. Thank you so much to Gleaner for donating to the Irish Knitting Tour goodie bags. And that's all I have for this video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you don't already, and hit that notification bell to be notified of my next upload. Last but not least, head over to Instagram and follow me at Rachel is Knitting if you don't already. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.